So to be harmonious together, what does that mean? A naive view of being harmonious is that there's never a feather that's rustled. <laughs> it's all calm. It's always serene. And in that serenity, we manifest something with another person. Like, wh what world are you living in? That's not my world. That's not how, how it goes in my experience. That's not what relationship is with another person. That's not what community is, right? That's not what any community I've been a part of. It ain't like that. There may be the duck floating, gliding across the water, but then there's the feet paddling as hard as they can. No, there's a lot going on. Now I want to bring to bear some of my knowledge from the study and then the application of harmony. There are whole books written on harmony, whole studies of it. There are classes um, on harmony. Um, and particularly for people who are interested in musical composition. On the face of it, har we think of harmony as that serene thing, right? We're in harmony. Nothing dissonant. It's all harmonious. But the very definition of harmony includes dissonance. Did you know that? Harmony includes dissonance. It also includes consonance, but it includes dissonance. And so it is in life. So it is in life. There is the dissonance of what goes on in life. Anybody have any dissonance this week? <laughs> the, the, Typical response to, to dissonance is to try to eradicate it. And particularly your dissonance. <laughs> like uh, to somehow flatten it and do away with it so that whatever the person thinks ought to prevail, prevails. Where are the people who can allow the dissonance to be there and allow it to come around right to a place of, of conclusion and fulfillment that manifests the things of God in the world. That takes some being present. Without being taken off your centering by the dissonance of the world in which you live, whether it's immediate dissonance of the people around you or the dissonance of what's on the evening news or anything else. Where is there someone who's in the middle of all of that, spiritually centered and in some way unmoving? So that in the middle of all that is changing, all that is di dissonant, there is the consonance that's present through it all and allows the whole cycle to come around right. Now, if we're particularly spiritually ambitious, we might sign up for that task, right? Like, I'll be the one, I'll be unmoving. Uh, but guess what? It is impossible, you might say in human strength. We don't have that ability. We're not made to have that ability all by our lonesome, none of us. So if you're failing at that, good on you. You're, you're right in there with all the rest of us. Because none of us can do that just based on human strength. We're not made that way as a human being. But here's the good news. What do you think the one who's referred to as the father is doing all the time anyway? What is the universe doing? around all, all that we as human beings get up to on this planet. Do you think the universe is bothered? <laughs> the universe isn't bothered. It's holding all the dissonance, all the global warming, all the atomic bombs, all the war, all, all the, the everything, the destruction of the 
of species on the planet. The universe is simply holding it all for it all to come around right in its time. And the universe is not bothered. The Father is not bothered. The Father is the ultimate consonance, the ultimate reference point. 